Uh, this hearing lasted more than four hours and uh, it got heated at times, but officials say this will not be the last hearing on this issue. Seems from what we've learned so far, this was even greater breakdown of communication and judgment that is absolutely unacceptable. An admission from acting police commissioner Rich Worley during a city council hearing on the Brooklyn Day shooting that killed two and injured 28. He says the first calls about the block party came in during the nine o'clock hour, three hours before the shooting. One was for people armed with guns and knives. What was the response to that call? What do we do? I can tell I can't tell you that the, what the response was. I can tell you how the officer um, coded the call as a David no, which means no police services were requested. Several city agencies, including police, housing and Monsey, say they had no knowledge of the party in advance, despite posts on social media pointed out by Councilwoman Porter. Monsey says there were four violence interrupters from Safe Streets in the area that night who mediated five conflicts before the shooting. But council members became frustrated trying to get more information about those conflicts. We're told that there was five conflicts. I, in I agree a, with in the a, Hold on a second. I'm not finished. There's I, I, five conflicts in a two-hour window. I asked a very simple question. Were guns involved? That question was asked to BPD. I'm asking the same question to Monsi. Some council members questioned if police would have had a more of a response initially to a large party in another area of the city like Fells Point. Acting Commissioner Worley says the department is working on a comprehensive after action report on the incident that will give more detailed answers. We're going to get to the bottom of it. We're going to find out what happened and we're going to fix it. The police department says that after action report will be ready in 45 days. Reporting live at City Hall, Kim Dacey, WBAL TV 11 News.